Hi there. I want to talk to y'all today about the caloric density of food. One of the reasons that um, we have 70% of our nation overweight and almost 30% actually obese is because of the caloric density of the foods that we eat. Most of these are uh, processed foods. So uh, here you'll see a chart um, that has across the bottom the various different types of foods and uh, then across the uh, y-axis is the caloric density, the calories per pound. And if you'll notice, um, all the healthy things that we strive to eat are over on the left-hand side of the chart. And toward the right are those things that we are addicted to and uh, it is so hard to give up. If you'll notice, uh, oils and butter, 4,000 calories per pound. Chocolate, the next one, about 3,000 calories per pound. Nuts, seeds, chips, cheese, all, all ca uh, calorie-dense foods. Um, you know, when we eat a whole foods plant-based diet, we don't have to count calories. We don't have to look at grams. We don't have to figure out how much we need of anything because if we're eating the right foods, we're getting all that we need. Uh, but I did want to show you this because when we look at nutrition labels, which is I'm going to show you that in just a few minutes, I want you to understand how much fat we should be getting. Okay, the uh, recommended daily allowance for the three macronutrients, fat, carbs, protein, and this is assuming an average 2,000 calories per day. If you're an intense athlete, you might be consuming and needing uh, a little bit more than that. And if uh, you're a little bit older and you don't get out a lot and you don't do a lot of high uh, activity, then your um, consumption might be a little bit less than 2,000. But look at the grams of fat. Okay, um, every gram of fat contains nine calories. So one gram of fat contains nine calories. So if you will calculate uh, how many calories of fat we should have based on a 10% fat consumption, we should be consuming about 200 calories of fat or 22 grams of fat per day. That's based on 10% of our diet being fat. Actually, a whole foods plant-based diet, if you live like that, it's really going to be about 5% fat. This is the recommended daily allowance. Um, a whole food plant-based is going to get you a lot less fat than that. Okay, let's go to our nutrition labels. The first thing we're going to look at is the worst thing, um, the oils. All right, for one teaspoon of oil, the fat calories are the total calories. So you don't even need to calculate this. 100% of that teaspoon of oil is fat. So uh, this is one of the reasons that um, none of us should be consuming any oil and we should be getting it out of our house. That was the last thing that Pat and I removed from the house about a week ago after we went to our Two Forks conference. And they told us over and over and over, oil kills, even olive oil. So. Uh, if you want to get healthier, um, get the oil out of your house. Another thing that we all love are nuts. And this is uh, just a handful of mixed nuts, about a fourth of a cup. 160 fat calories out of a total 200 calories. So that's 80% um, fat. I'm definitely not telling you to omit nuts because every single nut has a lot of minerals and vitamins and um, things that we need in them. Uh, but don't use them as meal replacements, okay? Don't go get a handful or a cup full and sit down at the couch and watch the news. Instead, use them as condiments. Use them, in condiment, use them as condiments on your oatmeal or in salads or in your wraps or over your banana and ice cream that you made, but don't use them as meal replacements, uh, and also almond butter. We all love it, but all the nut butters are obviously going to be high in fat. And this is just an uh, almond butter that had no oils added. You've got to be really careful when looking at the labels of any processed 
nut butters because a lot of the companies will add oil to it. So this is just a tablespoon of fresh almond butter, 78% uh, fat. So um, next time you make uh, an almond butter toast, just don't do it. Don't do a lot of it, just do a little bit and um, get the taste of it, um, but try and minimize your almond butters as well. Okay, we all love our avocados, but I had no idea one avocado has 247 fat calories. My gosh, that's 77% fat. So now I still buy avocados, yes, I do, because there's a lot of healthy things about them, but... Instead of putting a whole avocado in my salad, okay, maybe I'm just going to put a third to a half of one uh, or even just a slice. Uh, we are not using avocados nearly like we used to. Sunflower seeds, again, all your nuts and seeds are going to be high in fat, so uh, use them as condiments. Um, we put uh, sunflower seeds in our Asian cabbage salad, but uh, in a salad that serves six or eight, throwing a handful in is nothing at all. So, again, use as condiments. Coconut is a really uh, another high-fat food. These are coconut flakes, just two tablespoons, and uh, they're 64%. So use the coconut flakes in your um, oatmeal or in your baking, but minimize the amounts you use. Okay, now we're going to go to the healthier foods that we like just to show you that you can eat a ton of them and not worry about fat. A pint of strawberries, 8%. A baked potato, zero. A cup of black beans cooked, 4%. A cup of brown rice, 7%. Two cups of blueberries, 5%. And one banana, 3%. Broccoli, for some reason, a cup of it is a little bit higher in fat, but no worries because we know how much other good things are in broccoli. So eat up. Now let's go back to the baked potato. What in the world? Everyone says, well, if I can't put butter on my baked potato, what am I going to put on it? Okay, here's what you do with the baked potato. My gosh, there's so many great things. Bake them in your pressure cooker or in your oven and douse them with ketchup or douse them with mustard. Uh, throw a can of beans on them. Throw, throw some salsa on them. I mean, baked potatoes are wonderful and we should be eating lots of them. Uh, we've been um, so misled that potatoes are bad for us and they are not bad at all. They've got lots of good carbs in them and they're the good complex carbs that we need and they even have protein in it. Looky there, uh, baked potato has protein. Uh, we need the carbs because the carbs is what fuels uh, our body and fuels uh, our brain. So without the carbs, uh, we're going to be tired and sluggish and uh, feed your body those carbs. Okay, let's go over here to some of the things that we might like to treat ourselves with every now and then. This is just a tall Starbucks soy latte. Not too bad, not as bad as I thought, but it's just a small one. So... Um, if you're going to get one, this is just the numbers for the small one. It's going to be different for the other one. This is your regular size Snickers bar, not the big honking huge one. That's 122 calories. Okay, you're almost at your fat calories for the entire day, so uh, make sure it's worth it. Taco Bell bean burrito, just one plain bean burrito at Taco Bell is 122 calories. Okay, dang, because that's my favorite. And when I used to go to Taco Bell, I'd get two bean burritos and a bean chalupa. And I am sure I was exceeding uh, 400 calories in just that one meal. Okay. Uh, let's look at some breads real quick. You do need to look at the uh, nutrition labels for breads because you want to make sure that it says whole wheat or whole rye. You don't want to see the words enriched. You don't want to see multi-grain. You want the words whole. This is um, pita bread by baklava, zero fat. We use that all the time uh, to make hummus sandwiches. Smart and delicious tortillas. They do have one that only has 10 calories of fat, and these are great ones for rolling up wraps. And then, of course, Dave's Killer Bread is delicious. That's even in Walmart these days. It's a little bit higher in fat, but um, 
has lots of whole grains and seeds and um, appears to be semi-healthy. Okay, I want to do a little uh, comparison of Pat's two favorite desserts. Okay, so he loves, just because it's a plant-based food does not mean that it's healthy. So you really got to check the labels. So Delicious makes a lot of plant-based foods, but you got to check the sugar and the fat. Okay, Pat came home the other day with his two favorites, and we tried to guess before we looked at the nutrition labels and analyzed it which one was healthier. Um, both of us were wrong. <laughs> the one that is healthier is the one without the chocolate. Okay, so let's see the ice cream, just the ice cream. Just a half a cup is your serving, and that's 80 fat calories out of 180, so that's 44% fat, but that's just a half of a cup of that. I'm not sure about you, but I can't eat just a half a cup of that. The ice cream bars, one bar was 90 calories out of 150 total, so that was 60% fat. Uh compared to the 44% fat. So uh, the chocolate bars were higher in fat and you get one bar. Um, I can't eat this ice cream because I can't eat just one half a cup or one bar. Pat apparently can do that um, and so if you have that willpower um, go for it. But uh, I would sit down and eat that whole pint of ice cream if it were uh, if I took one spoonful. Okay, so let's review real quick what we learned about reading labels. First of all, you don't want more than 10% of your calories to come from fat. Okay, if you're eating a whole foods, plant-based diet, you're only going to see about 5% fat. For those of you thinking about trying to eat this way, it really does work. If you stay away from the foods that are processed and you stay away from the dairy and the cheese and the eggs and the animal fats, uh, you will drop weight, your, your cholesterol will go down and um, uh, give it a try. Uh, please uh, let us know if you have any questions and have a great day. Bye-bye.